All right, guys, good news. Going into 2015, a lot of evidence that millennials are starting to move out of their parents' basement. And while more than 30% of 18 to 34-year-olds live with mom and dad, uh, as they go into the world and form families, they're still picking apartments over home ownership. And as much as I hope this trend will change, the seeds of that construction uh, of seeds of construction right now actually suggest it's not going to happen. This is according uh, to the American Institute of Architects. So they have a report that's out every month, AIA, and they talk about design demand, and I tell you, it's still focused on the multifamily unit. In 2014, in fact, of the 12 months, 10 of them saw a demand increase for design. That's good stuff. Uh, and to take advantage, uh, here's what I want you to do. Take a look at this stock. It's preferred apartment communities. It's a real estate investment trust. They're paying about a 6.9% yield on the cusp of a, look at that chart, guys, on the cusp of a major, major breakout. Uh, earnings consensus edging higher and higher. I actually think the street is too low. Uh, this is what I, one of the things I really like. We talked about the South, and I, we got the tweet, South never died. I'm with you. But they are really coming on. And these guys are in Texas, Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, D.C., where all the money's gone. Pennsylvania. My target is $14 on it. I like a short term, love it long term, and think it's good for everyone's portfolio. What do you think about this one, Tim? I think the sector is hot. I think that the uh, port portion of the United States is spot on. I think the whole prospects about the millennials and your your logic is sound in that. And you were just down south. You said you saw like a bi a building boom. Well, anyone who's been down to Miami or the southeast uh, has seen it. I mean, uh, tremendous construction. We'll see what happens when Cuba opens up as well. So uh, you, you like that one. And Charles, I don't think it's all about that they don't have the money. It's just right. that millennials these days are having to move jobs. And I think they right. realize that they don't want to make the commitment to one city to buy a house. And the process that goes through it, they would rather just sit there and move around. We're not, we're not as committed to yeah, it. Yeah, but a lot of them tell, them tell them most people they don't have the 20%. Maybe with 3%, I bet 10%. you we may see something. <laughs> Can we talk about this stock for a second, though? Sure. Uh, so it came public in March of 2011. And I didn't see that part on your chart there. But the stock came public at 10 and it has not gone back up there since. It went down, though. It did go down. Now it's back up and it's breaking out. You love breakouts. You told me you love breakouts. I do, breakouts. and you know what? I actually like the story. I like REITs in general. And in fact, these guys might spin out their, their um, shopping center holdings, which I like, too. So I would still wait another earnings. You can't ever agree. All right. I'm going to no. laugh when it hits 14. I, By the way, too. guys, so 